Good morning. It is a new week and I am ready to head off to uh, my first text analysis class. Um, originally, so we had a class canceled last week and we were going to have a makeup class today. So it was going to be basically six hours of one class with like a couple hour break in between. But I believe the professor is going to be doing like individual kind of one-on-one -on -one sessions to discuss our assignment this afternoon instead of just doing another three hour class, which is probably a good choice. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my things that I have planned for today. Um, probably also head to the library and everything, figure out if I need to find anything for Halloween for tomorrow, and yeah, go from there. So I'm about to head out and get started. text analysis this morning. A bunch of us, I think almost everyone from the course went and had, well not quite, but like three quarters, uh, went and had lunch at Lineker College. Um, three people on the course are studying there. It's uh, post-grad only. Um, yeah, I nearly, I did nearly fall down the stairs because they're like carpeted and kind of slanted, but I saved myself so it was fine. Um, lunch there was really good. It was like these little fish cakes, so, like crab cakes but with salmon, and um, potato wedges. And they had other options as well, but that's what I had. Um, it was really good. And then we went to the English faculty library and uh, just read for a little bit, but then I had to head back to the exam schools to do my uh, individual meeting with the professor, um, which I found really helpful. It got some good advice. I feel like more confident uh, with what I'm doing now. So that was really good. And then I had some stuff to pick up at college, so I just headed back there and then came back to my room. Um, I have pen book tonight. I do ha still need to read the poems. I haven't read them yet. Um, so I'll need to do that this afternoon. And um, that's pretty much everything that I have planned for today, so, or for this afternoon. So we'll see. Hello, so it is a new day. Um, last night I, wound up going to dinner at Hall with a few people because somehow it took me until this long to clue in that Pembroke does a roast dinner every Monday, um, so that was very good. Um, and then afterwards I just had the Pembroke meeting. We read two of perhaps the most depressing Sylvia Plath poems I've ever read. Um, but that's fun in its own way. Um, and today I'm just about to head out to lunch at Hall um, and then I'll have my class this afternoon and burial formal tonight. So, uh, pretty packed day, but yeah, we'll get started. Hello again. So I had my class this afternoon. Well, first I went and had lunch at the hall with a friend. Um, I don't know if it was like leftovers from last night, but it was kind of another roast. Uh, they had like turkey and everything, um, which was quite nice, a lot of food. And then I went to my afternoon class. Uh, from like 2 to 4.30. It was a little longer today because we had like an extra guest kind of come in and explain kind of one of the, it's like a data storage system almost at uh, University of Oxford that they like let us create accounts for. Um, so that was cool. And then came back here and got ready because I'm heading off to the Balliol formal. I would have worn funkier shoes, but where we're meeting is like a half an hour walk. And I didn't really feel like taking a big bag to put other shoes in, especially because I didn't know if I'd have anywhere to like put it or store it or anything. So I'm just gonna wear these. But uh, yeah, probably gonna head out right away. We're actually meeting up uh, beforehand for about an hour and then heading to the formal and potentially, uh, he said the MCR bar might have something going on after since it's Halloween, so we'll see. Um, so I'm about to head out to my morning class, but I thought I would give a little recap of the Balliol Formal. 
Um, the food was really good and the haul is amazing. I think I did manage to get a clip of the haul. It might even rival Christchurch. Might be a little competition there. Um, the grounds are also looked really pretty. It was too dark to really get like any good images. Um, I definitely like to go back during the day as well to take like a proper look, but yeah, their quads were quite something. Um, and yeah, the food was really fun. And then afterwards we went to a pub just for like a quick drink. And I, I think it was called Turf. Um, it was quite close to Balliol and, um, it was really cute. It's one of the ones that kind of like goes on and on. Um, and like you go in and the ceiling's quite low. So it feels like a little hobbit hole. Um, yeah, it was quite atmospheric. Um, I feel like I haven't actually, like once I actually went there, I was like, I actually haven't explored that many pubs around here. So definitely would like to go to a few more. Um, I think the King's Arms is pretty, King's Arm is pretty popular as well. We like popped in there first, um, but it was quite full. So we couldn't really find a table big enough for all of us. So we uh, hopped over to Turf, which is massive. Um, and it's down this little side street as well. So it's kind of hidden away. It's very cute. Um, but yeah, today I'm headed out to my morning class and there actually is a Tolkien lecture this week. So I'm going to go to that as well. Um, if I didn't get it mixed up, I believe this week is uh, titled like Tolkien and the Classics. So I'm very excited for this one. Um, but yeah, heading out to text analysis now. Good morning. So yesterday after the, after the Tolkien lecture, I kind of just came back to my room and did some work. I wasn't very exciting. Um, I really enjoyed this lecture. It was um, on Tolkien and the classics. So it was basically looking at how the classics influenced Lord of the Rings, basically. It was very focused on um, the Atlantis myth by Plato and on the idea of like this uh, sort of the great fall of like a civilization in that narrative um, within Lord of the Rings. Um, it was very cool. But yeah, I think next week is kind of like focused on the elves, which I'm very excited about. That was one of my kind of like most anticipated lectures. So it'll be cool to hear that next week. Um, but then yeah, today I have a quick meeting um, with someone to like discuss applications next year. And then I have my Python class this afternoon. Um, and that's kind of everything that's like firmly planned right now. But I'm going to, I think, head over to the college library um, and try to get some work done before the meeting. So that's where I'm headed now. I'm at Worcester College and it is by far the prettiest one that I have seen so far. The grounds are insane and it's just like so much green space and foliage and they have a little lake. Um, I'd actually put this one on a couple of my applications because I applied to multiple courses. Um, definitely bigger than Pembroke, I, but yeah, it's gorgeous.
feel like I haven't really had many chances to check in today, and that's just because it's been like go, go, go. But I had my class, and then I went and studied at college, and then I went and had my meeting at Worcester College with uh, my dissertation supervisor. Worcester is so beautiful, and I feel like it was just like validation that I make excellent decisions because I put it as my preference on a couple of my other applications and it's gorgeous and I love Pembroke so I just make very good decisions without that much information um but basically as soon as I got back I was getting ready for the ball met up in some one of my friends rooms to get ready um but it's like two in the morning and I just got back but I wanted to show you like the full outfit someone at the ball said that it was like it's very 90s Carolina Herrera and I was like this is amazing but um yeah they had like face painting there was a chocolate fountain a cotton candy machine um they did have a string quartet with live music there was a couple people ballroom dancing but like not very many so the lessons did not get put into practice um, and then they had one of those silent disco things where like everyone wears headphones and then dances and they have like three different channels so you can pick between three different songs which is cool because like someone said um, you know sometimes you don't like the song that the DJ is playing so you just kind of have to like get through it and then until like a new one comes on but yeah I've, n I've never done one of those before and it was really fun um, they had a bunch of food yeah, and like drinks and stuff throughout the night. Um, the tickets are really expensive, so like, is it worth how much the tickets were? Maybe not, but I'm really glad I did it. It was really, really fun. Um, and now I can say I've been to a ball. It was really more like a carnival. They have like a bouncy castle and stuff than Regency. Um, other than playing some of the Bridgerton songs, it wasn't really Regency themed. But yeah, it was still very, very cool. And, um, yeah, had a really great day, everybody. So I'm about to uh, head out to kind of like a little fair thing. It's for Guy Fox Day, which is a thing in England. Apparently it's about like when people try to blow up Parliament or something. Um, but there's fireworks and a bonfire tonight and there's going to be like food stalls and games and stuff. Um, so we're going to head out there. But yeah, since I didn't get back until like two last night, I had a late morning, um, and I've just kind of been puttering around here, but I'm very excited for this. It's, I think it's going to be really fun. Um, so that's where I'm heading out now. Um, it's, well, like mid-morning on Sunday. Um, Guy Fox Day yesterday was super fun. The bonfire was, I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was like, it looked so weird. It was huge. And it was, somebody had donated, I think they said like, four, they said, I thought it was 14 million, but that cannot be correct. Like, a lot of pallets to burn for this thing. So I don't know what I thought it would look like, but it looked crazy. Um, very cool though. They had the fireworks display. Um, Caleb from Clarkson's Farm was there. I think he was in like the VIP tent earlier. And then he came out on stage to count down for the fireworks display. Um, they also had a bunch of fair rides and food stands. Um, it was very fun. Got very muddy. It would have been a good time to have my hunters, but Alas, they could not fit in my suitcase. So, um, a few of us were talking about going to a party at Kellogg College. Um, but we were like, we're covered in mud, we have to go change first. So we walked back to change, and like, honestly, I was never that keen on going to the party 
in the first place. Um, it was supposed to be like a 15 pound cover charge and I just resent cover charges anyway. I wasn't really in the mood to go to a party. Um, and like I've developed a cough. I thought I had avoided um, the freshers flu going around, but I did not. Um, so I, yeah, just was not in the mood to be out super late anyway. And by the time we got back, uh, the other girls I was with were like, let's just stay in. So we stayed in, watched Disenchanted, had a fun night. Um, and then today it's just going to be kind of a work catch up day through my really muddy jeans in the laundry. So that's the plan for today. Everybody, so I've literally just had a study reading day today. Watched a lot of Shameless too, um, which it was definitely like a event filled weekend. So it was nice to have a chill day in. Um, in the upcoming week, I do have my first assignment due on Friday, so it's going to be a lot of working on that. Um, but yeah, looking forward to having that done and it's exciting to hand in your first project too and nerve-wracking and everything but looking forward to doing that this week and then yeah hopefully some fun stuff too but um yeah I'm going to end it here and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.